Hey, welcome to Mortgage Minute for August 17th, Dog Days of Summer. And with that, we're getting headlines like this, Vancouver house prices, home prices plummeting. Not just down, just plummeting. And average uh, price down 12.4% over last year. Uh, another uh, headline here, Canadian home prices falling steadily. Uh, and this one was interesting, but actually more of a moderate to headline saying, what a modest correction might mean. So we've got plummeting, uh, we've got falling, and we've got moderate uh, price corrections. So we look behind those headlines, and I look a little further, and I see that Cameron Muir said, well, wait a second, BC real estate economist uh, says speculation of a market correction is unwarranted. Typically, to see a price correction, you need a macroeconomic shock, which uh, is a recession or high unemployment or a spike in interest rates. And as Cameron Muir points out, we are seeing none of those right now. So he, he's suggesting that all this is being overstated. So let's look at what's really happening, especially in the Vancouver market. Last year, we had a lot of Chinese buyers coming in. Prices went up by the double-digit growth. And then in turn, we turned around and said, now that, that uh, buyer, that w the buyers that were there are vacating the marketplace. There is going to be a natural softening of correction. So if it goes up by 20% and then down by 10, you're over a two-year average. So that's still up by 10. So anyways, you're going to see softening in certain markets. That's just a given. But don't confuse that with, a, uh, uh, you know, what was the one? Uh, I think an SFU analyst uh, suggests that we're going to see 50% drop in prices. Got to be careful with the fear mongering going out there. But uh, Jim Flaherty, in the meantime, is turning around and saying uh, that he's actually kind of pleased. He said... Uh, it's too early to determine the extent of his new rule changes, but he goes, remember, we don't want to, what we're trying to do is avoid what happened in the U.S. market or the Irish market. So, again, he's throwing out uh, the fear of what happened in the States and other in Europe as a way of justifying his rule changes. And furthermore, what we're seeing is the bond market, the bonds price, the, the price of the bonds going down, the yields are going up. So, translation to you is that interest rates for fixed long-term interest rates are going to climb. Look for that in the next couple of weeks. Now, I'm going to shift gears completely here. We just finished the Olympics, and I looked at today's headlines, and I saw this great story of Jarrett uh, Connaughton. You may recall he uh, was one of the legs in the men's 4 by 100 just barely stepped on the line, and after sitting there for a minute or so believing that they had won the bronze medal, it was yanked away from them. They were disqualified, and they went from sheer joy to sheer agony of defeat. But you know what? Um, I saw this today, and he's sitting there, and if anybody saw that in the Olympics, Jared looked in the camera and he said, I'm taking the blame. I'm taking full responsibility. And here he is in the front page of the Globe and Mail today saying he's stepping up, and he said, hey, I'm not trying to blame the rules. I'm not trying to try to complain about the rules. I did what I did. I take full responsibility. It was my fault. I looked at that, and it was a great Olympic story, but I just wanted to share it today because as I was sitting there this morning having my coffee reading this, it dawned on me what a great business lesson this is. This isn't about mortgages. This is about a business lesson. You know, sometimes in business, we need to own our mistakes. And I know that's something I'm working hard at. If we make a mistake, I'd like to own it. And, you know, I, I, I think that's a fantastic lesson from the world of sport that we can carry into business. Customers have no problem understanding that every once in a while you make a mistake. We as a nation look at Jared Connaughton and say, dude, you know what? You made a mistake and you owned it, no big deal, and we, we feel with empathy for him. And your clients will feel empathy for you if you own your mistake. But if he turned around and said it's not his fault and tried to deny it and try to argue he didn't do it or try to blame the rules, then people don't have the empathy, and that's the way business is too. Sometimes what happens is when if you're, if you're working with a customer or you're working with a, a business and they make a mistake and they don't own that mistake and they try to defend it, you get even more angry at them. So... I was looking at this today and I thought, what a great sport lesson that we can carry over into the business community. So business owners, own your mistakes. It's a great lesson from sport. Uh, I thought I'd tie in an Olympic theme there. And that, folks, is the Mortgage Minute. Go to peterkinch.com to learn more and read some of the articles I've written lately. And uh, other than that, have a fantastic summer. Thanks. Bye for now.